Hey, how's it going guys? Jay-Z here. For those that are wondering why there wasn't a video yesterday, I have the community post on the screen right now so you guys get the idea, a really quick summary of the reason why. And also because of that, we're at negative 23 LP right now in this game. We're going to be playing 4 AP Blitzcrank. It's sort of... It's sort of troll, right? I'm gonna go Dark Seal. It's pretty efficient. It's gonna give us a lot of healing. As for the build, it's over here. It's just incomplete. I think I'll finish off with a Void Staff or maybe a Morello's. Let's see. I think it'll have to be a Morello's because we're up against Vlad and, you know, these guys are not very tanky. They're not going to build magic resist, so we don't really need a Void Staff. We can finish off with Morello's. And also, at the start of our build is going to be like a Twisted Fate or Aurelian Soul build, so it's very tanky. We have our Rod of Ages and Ninja Tabbies so that we don't intentionally feed. And also our runes, we have Aftershock because once we pull them in, they're going to start wailing on us. If we don't have any defensives, we're just going to straight up get blown up. So that's the idea behind it. And then I have Transcendence for 40% CDR when I get Luden's Echo and Lich Bane. So I have 40% once I get those. Mana Flow Band is for my passive. And this is going to be a pretty big challenge. So I really hope we can get through this. Oh man, I'm actually lagging right now. Let's see if I could turn off the Wi-Fi. Okay, so we're up against Riven. I didn't get that. And I have an attack speed rune, so it will help out a little bit. Oh, my aftershock didn't hit her. I should have stayed in after I punched her. Because I was going to win that trade once my aftershock is active. But we still won that trade, surprisingly. So far, so good. Alright, that will have to do. We're trading potions, so this is really good. We're trading like refillable stacks for her actual potions. Oh, why is my ping so unstable? Damn. Yeah, I got the aftershock damage. There we go. Okay, I need to stop trading with her because I need some health to see us under tower. Got that CS. I'm trying to play earlier and to sleep earlier, so I'm playing through the lag. And also, we ha we have a really big challenge with play Blitzcrank 4 AP top. So this might be the game where I lose, who knows. Hmm, damn. Alrighty. I'm gonna start maxing Q because that's where our AP scales in and that's the whole point of the build, right? To pull them in and then ult because uh, your AP does not scale with your E by the way. Oh. Whoa, okay. So we traded two refillable stacks for three of her potions. This is massively good. We're already in the lead as long as we can see us. And all we have to do is just survive. Get some farm, and then once we buy some items, we should be good to go. A crafting potion might be very beneficial. Also, once my E's on cooldown, I stay really far back. And we can see us from range with our Q. The only issue with Blitzcrank in the top lane is we have no wave clear. Unless I went AD with Tiamat, it would have been so much better. And our E scales insanely well with AD. Uh, that's why I don't recommend AP Blitzcrank, but we'll see what we can do. Maybe we can pull off some one-shots. Mm, the trades are pretty clunky and awkward. I don't want to use my W either because this guy's really mana-hungry.
Okay, let's just head back. What's really confusing is right before this game, I was actually in practice tool and was not laggy at all. Oh, that's awkward. I thought I had enough for my thingy. <laughs> okay, that was perfect. Now, that was awkward. I, I wanted to get my catalyst, but I couldn't get it. <gasps> we got that. Okay, that's all that matters. I don't care about the caster minion. Oh my god, that passive is really bad for CSing. Yeah, this passive is really bad for CSing. It actually, it actually just stopped me from getting 2 CS there. So yeah, so far my ping has been going from 50 to 200. And my usual ping is 20, so it's very unstable. The best ping is just to have it stable. So if, say, your ping is stable at 50 ping, then 50 is actually really good as long as it stays that way. But the moment it spikes up to like 60 or 70, it becomes really bad. That's what I've noticed. So when I was playing on NA and I had like 300 ping, as long as it stayed at 300 ping, it felt a lot better than the 200 ping spike I have here. That's just how it was, just relative to what your stable ping is. So I'm getting a lot of comments saying, oh, I, I usually play with 100 ping. Well, if you usually play with 100 ping, that means 100 ping is really good for you. And it will feel a lot better than my 100 ping right now if it spikes. We have to stay back because he, she could just ult us and chunk all our health, make us flash. So we just have to stay back for now. We can ult this one. And poke her a little bit, right? <gasps> oh, okay. That was so close. My Q was on cooldown, so I actually could not use it. Like, I, I would have used it a little bit earlier. I thought it was going off cooldown. That would have been such a nice hook. Oh, I couldn't punch her there. Okay, that will do. Let's back away it before our W fades. I think that's the trade we're going for. The next Aftershock, I'm going to try to trade again. And this time I'll use ult on her. Oh my god. So I guess Blitzcrank... Oh, this passive is so bad. The ult passive is really, really bad. It's stopping me from getting so much CS. That's why... That's another reason why it's a bad idea, I guess. <laughs> And the only reason I'm playing this is because you guys voted him in, not because it's a good idea. They have a Trindomir. Ooh. That's actually something I can't deal with as Blitzcrank. We can't run away from a Trindomir. Can we hook her in? Okay. I'll take it. Why should she trade with me? I had like Aftershock up. That's the last thing you want to do is trade with someone that has Aftershock up. I played against enough tanks to know this. Oh, actually I should have waited for Rod of Ages. I just had to wait like a good 15 seconds. See, right now, these two items plus 150 gold would have been Rod of Ages, but it's all right. Press W and go back to lane. It speeds us up for five seconds and slows us for 1.5. So it's worth, worth spamming. So, because we pushed it into her tower, we get to have it bounce back to us. And it's a really bad idea to play Blitzcrank because you can't CS properly with this guy. It's very difficult to. Maybe at late game, once his ult is 20 seconds and you have max CDR, then it's really good. Otherwise, we CS from range because Riven, you have to respect her a little bit, right? If she uses shield, I can run away from her, wait for the shield to fall off, then I can use my ult and E. I think that will cause for a decent trade. But if she shields my ult damage, then it's not worth. Alright, sweet. She didn't shield it. Nice. She woke up? No, she won't walk up. Okay.
Okay, let's run away. <laughs> I don't have aftershock. This is. Oh. Really? Really? I had my overdrive up and I had boots. Tier 1 boots. That wasn't enough. Hmm. I guess I've been like 50 to 150 ping. Feels bad. It does feel clunky, by the way. See, I, I would have ordered that, but I can't. Oh, okay. Okay, this is the only reason I'm going to ult is just to push this in because... Um, yeah, I'm not gonna stay anyway. By the time I get back to lane, this should be up. I have Rod of Ages here. Also, Riven went back, so you wanna just shove it in. Make her miss as much as possible. Grab a pink ward as well. Okay, so now that we're kind of tanky, we can just fight head on and not expect to get bursted out right away. And then we can start building full AP. If you were to just go straight into Ludens, go Extreme Greed with Sorcerer's Shoes, and also have Electrocute or something really dumb like that, then you can pull them in, you won't one-shot them, everything will be on cooldown, and then they'll just all in you. Even if they're lowish health, or at half health, they'll all in you because you have nothing left. So that's why you go for my setup if you want to be Blitzcrank top as full AP. I think this is literally the only setup that's viable. I don't have anything left. Another two, one. Oh, oh, I tried to predict it. Damn. Yeah, I'm coming, I'm coming. You're supposed to run away when he's ulting, jeez. Oh, this is actually really bad. I could get dove here by Riven. I have to save all my cooldowns here, so if she was to jump on me, I can CC her. Okay, I just, I just like broke my own rule. This is dumb. I actually have enough AP to one-shot the backline. That's a really important thing to note. 350 damage. Alright, let's back away after shocks down. So we win the trade. It has to be a short trade. And only during aftershock. Uh, we lost our first tower. It's not good. Alright, rank two ult. Once we get rank three ult, we're going to be bowling. Also, other issues we're stuck in lane for a long time. Maybe I should have saved that ult. It just felt so tempting to try. Okay, so Trindamir is topside. Oh, really? She dashed behind me. I wait for her to get this next CS, whichever it might be. Sweet. I have to just go for tower. By the time I get here, I won't get anything done. Nice! That's a 600 damage smack with Demolish. I can't wait for level 16, where we can actually wave clear. Like, how bad is that? Most champions just get Tiamat and that's it. 
We have to wait to level 16. Pretty much a kale. Except without the payoff. <laughs> Alright, let's get out of here. Okay, this time we have a lot of mana. Sivir's top as well. This is looking pretty bad. Our ult is coming up, so we can instant wave clear. We do have some burst. It just depends on what happens here. That's a dead lad. Low? Okay. Alright, sweet. I'm able to see us everything on the tower, I believe. Maybe. There we go. Nice. Now we have another ult to push out. Oh my god, my ping just spiked again really hard. Nice. Okay. And Riven went back. Is this a dream come true? Christmas came early, guys. We're getting this tower. But yeah, you guys can see that almost anything works in iron, and it's going to work in bronze too. But it just, it's just going to be a lot harder than it needs to be if you play something troll like this. Same for Soraka top, it's really, really troll. Like, don't do it. I don't see any reason to do it. It's not fun at all. <laughs> Pop a potion here, because I'm going to go in. <gasps> Maybe not. Let's get out of here. Alright, the best defense is a good offense, right? Alright, get him. I don't know what that Riven's doing because she can't 1v1 me with that health. Okay, let's ult the next wave, go back, and try to buy some items, because this is getting ridiculous. Like, if a champion needs to ult just to wave clear, you know it's a really bad one for solo laning. Okay. We need to help our team, because they're getting completely dumpstered here. So... Oh, we're so close. But we have 9 stack of our thingy. We have 9 stacks of Dark Seal, so it's not worth selling. If I didn't get any Dark Seal stacks, I would have sold it for a Ludens. Well, we definitely want to... Oh, really? Why did he do that? Okay, let's see. I think with Ludens, we might be able to start one-shotting like someone really low level. I'd say I'd pick on Sivir, but she has Spell Shield, so it might be rough. I should go top. I need to defend it. No. Wait, why did I get the kill? I didn't even do the. I didn't even do the finishing blow. That's strange. Oh, they got it. Sweet. I can just go top. I can't wait for level 16, guys. I really can't wait for it. It's so good. There's no jungler. We need jungler. Oh, do you guys notice that when your E animation goes off and because the minion died, it will just like count as if your auto already used, so the next one's super slow. That feels bad, man. It's very clunky. This champion is very old and clunky. That's not worth it, guys. Don't do this as a jungler. As a jungler, if Baron spawned, you're in the top half of the map always. No exceptions. So I guess we'll get Aether Wisp, and the reason being is because I want to run fast. Let's go. Because Nocturne's splitting bot like a monkey, we're going to have to go top. Even though that's the top laner's job is to go bot. Because he has TP. Or if he doesn't have TP, then he's a really hard split pusher with like, say, Trindamir has a lot of mobility and can get to Baron pretty fast with like, max CDR. I might have to ban- oh no, I'm not abandoning, okay. And she's low, why is she low? No one got her low. Do we just walk up and kill her? Ok, 
Alright, we woke up and kill it. I'll take it. I think I just saw Vlad over there. Okay, so they might be fighting mid. It's just like a 4v1, so we don't need to teleport or anything. But we should head down there anyway. They don't want to get Baron. Like, it's the obvious clear way to win the game faster. They want to go for the slow way to win. Which I guess it's fine, it's just very bad that they send four people. They just need to send one person to solo. Ah, uh, we need Kaisa. We really need Kaisa so badly. I mean, we have the tank. Uh, we're gonna try anyway. Yes. Actually, I could have sworn she ulted from there, so well, I guess I'm like, my ping's really high. I pressed my Q several times and it didn't go off. Let's go bot and we'll see if we can one-shot the Sivir. Because right now I have 340 AP. I might even be able to get a Medjai's, so this is actually looking pretty good. So that means I don't need to buy Morellos. Or I could get Morellos in place of Death Cap. This is so troll, I'm ulting for Minion Wave. I don't think I can take this Krog Camp out efficiently, so... See what we can do here. We'll get a ward in the river. Another 10 seconds till our ult comes up. Can we get that one? Nice. Do you notice how I angled that Q? It's very important. It looks like it will miss, but it doesn't because Blitzcrank's Q at the very end is very forgiving. Same as Thresh. It's very, very, um... Deceiving. I think that's the right word to say. It's deceiving. Okay, we pushed out. Let's back away. We're level 16, so our ult is on a 14 second cooldown now. I can ult every second minion wave. I'll take it. We one shot at her. Let's see if we could head over and do something. Eh. I'm not keen on pulling Trindamir in and then he just kills me. Let's see, wait, how strong is Trind? Okay, he's not too strong. But he does shred through my health because of these two items here. It's actually the best items against tanks. Oh, also, even though your even though your E does not scale with AP, it still procs Ludens. So I'll take it. My God, this ping! The reason I'm complaining about the ping so much, I, I do apologize, guys. I just complain whenever I notice it's really bad. Like my click becomes super delayed. That's when I mention it. So I, I do apologize. It's just in my mind. Aww. Going in. Hey, okay, dodge that box. Okay, let's just get out of here. <laughs> I can teleport back if they stay. Alright, I'll take it. Anyone would do. I just like hook into the cluster, so whoever gets hooked dies. Lux want to walk back up. Oh, okay, that was close. Come on. Okay, let's get out of here. Skedaddle. 
Oh, okay, they got me. Damn, we almost ended. So close. I think the next push will end. So what does this blasting one build? Morellos. Now I have to do, we're going to buy Morellos. If I sell this Dark Seal, I can't get my Oblivion anyway, so there's no point. Alright, hopefully this goes through and everyone's getting the memo because we just want to end it. The longer this goes, the worse I get. <laughs> Let's just not drag this out. Okay, Nocturne has ult, so he could come over soonish. I'm not keen on ulting every wave and just keep pushing because that's like very inefficient with my time. With the items I have, I can use that ult to one-shot someone every 12 seconds. So we'd rather do that, guys. I can't compete against Kai'Sa unless I ult the wave. Not worth it when I can one-shot someone. I was hoping to bait out her spell shield. I didn't want to use my Q yet. But she never used her spell shield. So. Are they going to let us end or something? Wow, okay, that's, that's next level. Nice, we get to end here. Sweet! Get out of here, let's just get out of here. Okay, nice. I'm done with Blitzcrank Top. AP Blitzcrank Top, a victory through the lag. It doesn't even matter, because, you know, anything works in Iron. Anything works in Bronze, so if you guys are asking what champion should you play, just play the meta picks, okay? Anything works. You can play troll picks as well, and it will work. It's just that it's very suboptimal, so... Let's give the honor to Kaisa. I'm pretty sure she did the most damage because look at how much damage she did at the end there to that Sivir. Just like absolutely melted her face, right? 8 and 2 Kaisa. Did I out damage the Kaisa? Moment of truth, I did. <laughs> this is so dumb. Okay. There you go, guys. Hopefully, you guys enjoyed that one. Be sure to comment down below which champion you want to see next. Try to avoid the troll picks because there's not really much point unless... Only on one condition. If it makes a really good YouTube title and thumbnail and it will actually get a lot of traction and help the channel grow, then sure, I could give that a try. Maybe this one will get a lot of traction. I don't know, but I don't think so. So yeah, GG well played. Hopefully, you guys enjoyed. I'll see you all in the next video. Cheers.